Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day everybody. Got a different kind of video today. I wanted to talk about uh, some of the new cards that were released in Fate Reforged. Specifically, I wanted to talk about them in a... Well, you could play these for, for Commander, you could play them for Tiny Leaders. I prefer Tiny Leaders right now because it's a new format and it's a, it's a new way to play Magic the Gathering. It's like an untapped resource. It's something that has so much potential. So I wanted to talk about the three cons from Fate Reforged, Yasova Dragonclaw, Alesha, and Shuyan the Silent Tempest. Now, uh, obviously these are some new, new different abilities, and it's maybe difficult, sorry, my cat's still running around with the bell on her neck. All right, but this is, this is big. These three different cons have got some new abilities, all of them tied to, well, all of them tied to, uh, activated abilities in their uh, rules text. But the way that works, since it's a hybrid mana in their rules text, it counts for their color identity, and that works for Tiny Leaders or Commander. And But because their three casting costs are less, I kind of want to do a video talking about Tiny Leaders. And of course, we've got our work cut out for us. It's, a, it's February 1st. It's a new month of 2015. Um, there's a lot of different decks that we can build with these three different Tiny Leader Generals. Obviously, like, Yasova has a lot of interesting combos that we can work with. And, of course, Shu Yan also has some really interesting things that we can build around. But, honestly, the one that's got the most potential is Alesha. She has so many... I mean, she, there's just so many good cards that combo with that return to play ability she has. Not the least of which are <laughs> bottle gnomes. If anyone remembers the old dancing gnomes deck of yore, it was just a fun, well, it was just a really powerful combination. You would corpse dance every turn for the bottle gnomes, block, sacrifice the gnomes, do it again next turn. In this case with Alesha, you can actually use her ability to pull out the bottle gnomes every turn attacking, and then on your opponent's turn, sacrifice it to gain three life, and bring it back out next turn again for just two white or two black, or any combination of black and white mana. That's really good. And there's actually a lot of creatures with sacrifice abilities built in that make them very powerful. Some with the... <laughs> just... There's just so many. There's just so many abilities <laughs> that bring creatures back into play. Creatures with... Uh, Discard effects to get the creatures into your graveyard. Creatures with effects that force them to be sacrificed. Uh, if you've ever wanted to look up one of the more amazing cards from uh, Urza's Legacy, look up Bone Shredder. I couldn't find one for the video, but I did search. I just couldn't seem to find one for the video. <clears throat> and there's just so much you can do in this format. Goblin Legionnaire. Again, it's just one of the best... I mean, there's just so much that you can do. It's amazing. Even if you don't have creatures with built-in sacrifice effects, you can give... I mean, you can put out permanents with sacrifice effects. You can use creatures that destroy something, or a creature's a humble defector. You could pull it out with Alesha, and then on your next turn, sacrifice it in response... Or, well, you can tap it for its ability, and then sacrifice it in response. You still get to draw your two cards. Then all the sacrifice effects are just so normal. Hey, my cat is jumping all over the place. All right, getting all these creatures in and out of play. Uh, just <laughs> there's so many things, and if you're sacrificing, again, there's so many cards that combine with Alesha's ability, and that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. Was I'm going to start putting together an Alesha Tiny Leader deck. And obviously, I can't do that all on one video, but I just wanted to get the word out. There's, a, I mean, it's a great character, it's a great card. You should definitely look into trying it out. So, if you haven't played Tiny Leaders before, now's a ter the perfect time to start. <laughs> Terrific time to start, because there's, there's some great options. Oh, I forgot to point out, every single one of these are foil. I've noticed, however, that when I start using the foil, my camera likes to auto-refocus not sure if anyone else has started showing off and encountered the same problem. 
And of course, let's talk a little bit about the other two. Yasova's abilities are, are really good because in those colors you get amazing abilities and amazing ways to deal with creatures. I'm actually going to work on a a basically combo teamer deck. I'm going to play things that untap com and get extra combats like uh, Aggravated Assault. I'm going to play infinite mana combos like Eternal Witness and Snap on a Gia's Cradle and an Island. And just try to get as much mana as possible. Obviously, there are a lot of really good cards built into the format. And then I was going to play things like Training Grounds, reducing the activated abilities of my creatures. Wouldn't It would not reduce Yasova's ability, but it would reduce Nomadic Elf, so all of my green mana can be turned into mana of any color. Then I'd play things like, uh, well, when I gain control of my opponent's creature, then I can put a Tempting Licit on it at instant speed and force my opponent to block it, then after blocking is declared, pay one green to end the effect, and their creature will most likely be dead, and all my other creatures will have gotten through unscathed. Uh, and that's these are just some spitballing ideas that work together to for Gasova's abilities. But mostly it's going to be a combo-oriented deck with combo, attack, re, re-untap, take new, take new combat steps. Infinite mana, that sort of thing. Now for Shu Young, I actually thought about doing something a little mean, evil, however you want to put at it. It's the Silent Tempest, and everything I know about Tempests and Storms and Magic the Gathering is that they tend to mess with a lot of permanents, like Cyclonic Rift and things like that. So that made me think there's a lot of cards people might not remember work like Cyclonic Rift. Actually, they work better than Cyclonic Rift, let's just be honest with ourselves. You have the old boomerang effect, and just, <laughs> there's just a lot of really good abilities. I'm going to build a deck with Shu Yun that just basically messes with the opponent's land. See, at my local shop, we're not allowed to destroy land, or we are allowed to destroy lands, but you won't get any points. And I think that's a good rule of thumb, but it's easy to get around, and I want to show people that it is easy to get around that, uh, particularly because... If you're not destroying lands, you could just return them to your opponent's hand, and that would be just as bad, honestly. So you have things like Hoodwink and uh, Boomerang, and uh, well, there's so many different cards. There's even some that are exactly the card that I just the cards I just named under a different name from a different expansion, and they're all playable in what would essentially be a mono blue deck, except for a few red and white sources of mana, and uh, you just basically return their permanence, Prowess Trigger double strike, swing out, they can't block, and then win the game. Uh, very, very simple design, very easy to execute, and uh, obviously the type of thing people won't like playing against at all. Obviously Hexproof can get around it, Shroud can get around it, but if you target their lands, they can't get out those Hexproof or Shroud creatures anyway. And that's, that's one of the things I wanted to point out. Yeah. <laughs> And I also thought about just having a minor strategy with uh, token production, possibly. Um, don't know if anybody's ever noticed. I think Black Buys isn't playable, but Iron Maiden is. And if we're going with blue, there's, I believe, three different cards that allow each player to draw X cards that are under three casting costs. So I can build a deck around that. Prosperity, um, Cloud scri Sky Scribing, and... The new one from Cons is two blue and X. You can choose to, well, you can choose to have each player draw X cards, and that's very, very good. So with Iron Maiden, you basically it's an X spell on your opponent's next turn for blue. <laughs> and that's the, what the purpose of this video was going to be. Just a real quick look at what the different, the three different Cons were from Fate Reforged, and what kind of decks they go into. Look up a. Uh, Look up abilities in uh, Gatherer, like for Sacrifice, or uh, Creatures with Power 2 or Less, with comes into play abilities, because her ability does put them into play tapped and attacking, but they still come into play. I didn't really highlight it, but you have things like, well, Treasure Hunter is not as, not as good an idea, but Ravenous Rats is a good idea. Let's see. <laughs> Core Hookmaster, Manic Vandal. I even had one that dealt with enchantments. 
<laughs> For those of you wondering what that is, that's my cat. He's carrying his toy in his mouth and he's doing it because he wants me to play. Yes. Ugh. Let me see if I can just real quick show you what it is I'm having to deal with. This is my giant cat, Sunspot. He doesn't care much for Magic the Gathering. And he is, of course, a giant cat. Ugh. You're all right. I'll play with you in a minute. Well, I think that's, that's a good sign to show you I need to turn off the video and play with my cat. I hope you got something educational from this, and I hope you really enjoy it. I'm also going to try out a new format this week. Opening one booster a day, picking the rare, or picking a card out of it, and uh, just off the top of my head, pointing out a few combos. If that's one thing that I have going for me is that I have an encyclopedic encyclop knowledge of old cards. So maybe I can... <laughs> maybe, maybe that could be something I can do that's different. Alright, I hope everyone's having a great day. It, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment if you want to. Uh, just have a great day, everyone.